KLG unit troubleshooting tip regarding the uh, condensate drain float. As you can hear my meter, it's on continuity and it's con and it's beeping. As you can see, the wire is right there. Those those are the wires from the. Uh, from the um, the pump, so the float's supposed to be normally closed, as you can see. So I cut the wires right here, splice them together, because I keep getting that CH4 or CH04. CH04, uh, that's when if if the float is opened or if the wires is open, and that's the plug right there. Can you see it? So typically you can use like a skinny, skinny test lead, it said CN float. Use a skinny test leads if you have those. Well, my leads aren't skinny enough to get into the, uh, into the, into the, uh, the plug right here, test the connections. So I just simply cut the wires and I'm gonna resplice them with some electrical tape. Okay. So yeah, um, I was getting that CHO4 and uh, when I remove the plug right here, this plug right here, uh, you know, it was bone dry. I mean, maybe, maybe there's a little bit of water in there right now because I've been running it for a little bit. But if you pop this plug out, um, this is a you access the drain pan. You can like vacuum the water out from here if you want to, if it's, if it's like clogged up, but it was bone dry. Um, I have the pump disconnected and so it turns out this, the float switch was just stuck. So you can see, you see it? So that's the float switch right there in the corner. You see that red, the red wire going to it. And then that's the pump right here. The motor, obviously. I uh, mean, I should take this out. This space, this seat is so tight. It's so tight. Like literally, I got, I could barely fit my head up in here. Um, but well, yeah, I just want to give you a quick tip. If you are troubleshooting this problem, you can see the pump is spinning. If it wasn't so tight, I would just pull this thing out, but let's see if I could pull this thing out there. It's crazy. It's crazy. And the plug, the, the pump plug, that's this blue wire here. That's for the pump. Okay. And if you have the space, you can have your test leads on the one of my leads just fell off, one just fell off, but you can have it on the wires while you lift the float up and down. If the float is lifted and it's open, like right now, it's bypass because you can see I have the wires shunted together. All right, let me see the schematic here. It's fine around there. The schematic. Main PCB. Turn it around. Crazy man in New York City. The setup is crazy as far as um, as far as uh, installation is concerned. But we get this some better lighting. The camera is reflected so by Nebo. And we're gonna look at the schematic. Uh, so. There's a float switch, C and float, and you see it's normally closed. So whenever this switch is, is going to open and arise, whenever the water level comes up too high, the switch is going to open and it's going to throw, throw a CH4 or CH04. Okay. And uh, where is a condenser or where is a condensate pump? Uh, right here. Drain pump. 
and it's a CND pump. That's the plug connection label on the board, on the main PCB board. Okay. And this is the relay connection on the board. That's enabled and disabled the pump. So if you wonder if your pump is bad, you simply um, unplug this blue, uh, the blue wire, unplug it, and then stick your test lead in there carefully so you don't short these two terminals and check for voltage. If you've got power and your pump is not running, and uh, you can see there's a fuse right here, so if you short this out, you're definitely gonna be blown this fuse right here. Or if your pump is not running, maybe the fuse is blown right here. You check that out. As you can see, it's coming from the main power right here. Coming down, going around, through with the fuse. This is a relay on the board, and then go into the pump like that. All right. So, yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you want me to explain this whole schematic, I mean, I guess I could explain most of it. Not all of it because you know there's internal wiring which, which internal wirings on the logic board which i can't really trace but you know subscribe man i'm out of here